Yu-Gi-Oh! So what is up YouTube, this is Jeremy from Team Bio, and today guys I have another top 10 video for you. It's going to be top 10 cards that I believe deserve to be a super rare, whether it be in an OTS pack or a side set like Mystic Fighters or Shadows in Valhalla. I did a previous video something like this, a uh, top 10 ultimate, or top 10 cards I think deserve to be an ultimate rare. And I got some uh, mixed feedback, some of you said you liked it, some of you said it was a good intention but poor execution, making it feel too much like a school PowerPoint, which it was li literally done on PowerPoint, so I can understand that. So I decided I'm going to try to do a face-to-face -face video with you guys and kind of cut away half the video into like showing the card itself and still seeing me talk and discuss it, whatever. So the criteria for this is it, anything on this list is only going to be printed as something as a common or a rare. Uh, nothing that's been printed as like a gold rare, so something like a reasoning. It's, been, it's only had common in like a starfoil rarity but with one gold rare. Gold rare is the ugliest rarity to a lot of people I know, but um, it's still technically classified as a foil. So all of these cards on here are only going to be printed as either common or rare, and I'm going to debate, or the deciding factor on these, I guess, is whether or not they just need a reprint because of how old they are. Like, for instance, some cards are like $5 commons. Grand Machu was originally a $5 common. There's no reason to spend $5 on a common. Or whether it's a good card that's only been printed as a low rarity that's meta impactful enough to be uh, hollow. Um, this is actually my second take making this video. Uh, I initially did the video, finished it, started editing and was about to upload it, but OTS Pack 12 got announced and for again, Grand Maju was announced to be on that um, OTS. So we're gonna redo the video, 10 cards, and let's just hop into it. So these are actually going to be in order. So for card number 10, I'm actually having Gale Dagra. This is a super old card. I can't, I want to say Gladiator's Assault. I could, I'm probably wrong on that. But the card effect reads, you'll be able to see on the side that you can discard one card from either your extra deck or your fusion deck. I can't remember the exact wording. Uh, pay 3,000 life points, discard it to the graveyard, pretty much. Um, obviously, this card has only had one printing uh, as a rare and whatever set it came out with. It's not that powerful of a card. It's just the fact that it's like a three, four, five dollar rare. And it's a, it could be decent for ritual monsters because it doesn't have a once per turn effect. I know Mega Z or Zaborg the Med Mega Monarch has the same effect pretty much by if you summon it, you can target one card in the field, destroy it, and if you do, send cards equal to its level or rank. If it was a light monster, uh, send cards from your extra deck equal to its level or rank. So it's like generic ritual support. But I figured this isn't as bad because if, for example, if you get Ghost Ogred, you can still re resolve its effect as opposed to Zaborg, it has a target to destroy. So it's it's a playable card. I want to say it's a level 3 insect, I could be wrong. But that'll be it for number 10. Uh, number 9, we have Demise of the Land. I myself hate Mystic Mind decks. That was what, actually one of my losses to and uh, most... Um, Mystic Mind Burn Decks was one of my most recent losses too at a regional, but Mystic Mind does not, or um, Demise of the Land does not deserve to be a $5 to $7 common uh, for the first edition printing, obviously. Uh, Unlimiteds or 3 to 5 or something like that, but Demise of the Land is, should not be that expensive for a common, so for that reason, I think it should be a super rare. Um, special summon, if your opponent special summons the monster, activate it, activate Mystic Mind from your deck pretty much. So it's kind of like a worse metaverse, but um, it it's only had one printing as well. I believe in Light of Destruction, you're going to see me do this face a lot. That's just my thinking face, so sorry about that. But Demise Lane, I think, deserves to have a reprint. Um, I'm also looking away because I've got a notepad. But for number eight, uh, Void Feast. This is a really good card. It's a trap card uh, in for Infernoid support. It says you can send a one face of Void spell from your hand or field to the graveyard, so I guess it's not face up, one void spell or trap from your field to the graveyard, except for into the void, I believe. Um, special summon three infernoids, from, three infernoids from your deck whose levels total equal eight. So you can send like two Decatrons, and then Sightless, I believe is its name, the level six, and then you get the Decatron's effects. But it's only been printed as a common, I can't remember what set it was, 2018, I believe, is when the card was printed, uh, back when, like, Infernoid Zoo was very popular. 
I think it's such a powerful card that it deserves to be a, a super rare right now, especially with Infernoids doing so well recently. They've been topping multiple YCSs, uh, topping regionals. I think it deserves to be a super rare at this point. Um, number seven is a little more recent of a card is Tenny Spirit Vishuda. Uh, it's just a really good generic card, uh, being able to just special summon if you control all normal monsters or normal no monsters on the field at all. And then it's other effect where you can banish it from the, your field or hand, or you from your graveyard or from your hand to return one face of card your opponent controls to the, back to the hand if you only control normal monsters. So I think it's just a really good generic vanilla, pretty much. Uh, it's only been printed as rare in Chaos Impact. No, it was prior to that. I can't remember the set, but um, it was like one or two sets ago, but. Tenny Spirit Vishuda, I think, deserves to be a hollow. And the next is actually going to be for number six, is Gladiator Beast, uh, not Andal, Augustus as a hollow. It's only had one printing again, as well as a rare, um, especially with Gladiator Beast support getting printed in Chaos Impact, being Test Panther, uh, their new fusion monster that's really cool. Something's in my eye, sorry. And other cards within the set, I think it's, it'd be a really good support for it or not support, a uh, rarity upgrade for it. I think all the other cards in Gladiator Beast set, like that you play, so not something like Gladiator Beast Respite, but all the other Gladiator Beast cards are ho uh, Hollow Rarity, Test Panther is Ultra, Test Tiger is like a super, or uh, Ultimate Rare, I think has a super as well, but uh, Andal's pretty much the only one that's played that doesn't have a Hollow Rarity, so I would love to see Andal, the vanilla, as a Hollow as well, but realistically, Augustus is the only one that's good enough. Um, for number five, don't think I forgot about Orcist. Symbol Skeleton is such a good card. Banish it from the graveyard, target one of your Orcus in grave, special summon it. It it really deserves to be a super. I think it should have been a super over something like um, Nightmare, Orchestrated Nightmare but first. Uh, I understand or Orchestrated Nightmare went with Mermaid, but uh, even Harpoor, it could have been a super before Harpoor. I just think Symbol Skeleton was in my opinion, the best uh, Orcus main deck monster. Next, we have instant fusion targets. Um, so this one's a little bit more broad. It's just obviously instant fusion targets like uh, Carbon Night On or Carbonola Warrior, uh, Dragness the Wicked, pretty much any monster that's not been printed as a hollow rarity for instant fusion. Um, I know something like Mud Dragon's been printed as a hollow, obviously, El Shadal Winda, but even like Kaminari Attack, the Thunder Monster, that's a vanilla pretty much, just like all the other ones, I guess. But when that was played during Thunder Dragon, I think pretty much any or all of those could be printed as a foil rarity for your instant fusions. I'd love to see that. Um, but yeah. Uh, number three is actually going to be Equip Spells. So some of the most powerful equip spells, like even banned in the OCG, is something like Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Uh, a lot of people think that was going to get banned over here in the TCG due to Goki, but instead they banned like Gumblar, Firewall, uh, Nightmare, Goblin, and they just left uh, Phoenix Blade alone, which I personally am okay with, but um, I digress. But other cards that include, or other equip spells that could be reprinted as super is definitely DDR. I think that's probably the most powerful legal equip spell right now because at the cost of just discarding one card you can special summon any banished monster that or any of your banished monsters back to the field in attack position i believe it has to be in attack position but that doesn't matter too much if it allows its effects to activate stuff like living fossil special summons them back in defense position from your graveyard uh they lose a thousand attack and defense and their effects are negated that's cool and all but the fact that you can Bring something back. Obviously, I'm going to use Six Samurais as an example because everyone knows the channel. If you bring back a Banished Kazaru, you just get to activate its effect again and resolve it as opposed to bringing it back with li Living Fossil. You can activate its effect, but it's not going to resolve unless you tribute it off the field quickly somehow, like some with something like Cunning. But a lot of the quiz spells, I think, deserve to be a hollow rarity. Even Moon Gear Shield, I would take as a hollow in like a side set just because it's only been printed as rares and commons, I believe. So, uh, Azul being such a good, powerful, generic warrior link monster, I think some of these equip spells should be printed as a hollow, mainly DDR. Uh, number two is actually going to be Draconet. 
I'm sure t people are tired of seeing Draco Nets starting combos, one card combos like last format when uh, b before Guard Dragon Argapane got banned. It was a one card FTK. It was absolutely bonkers. It's only been printed as Common and Starfoil, I believe, and like a Star Pack or something. But this card really deserves to be a super rare, in my opinion. Um, the fact that it's just a one card Ib and then Ib's just broken, bringing back another dragon. It's one card link, like three, four, five, whatever you play. It's such a good card that I think Draconet should be a holographic. And for my final card, it's actually going to be, people are going to like, might be controversial about that, it's actually going to be Shadal Dragon. Um, it's only been printed as a rare in Duelist Alliance and I believe Mega Pack 2015, but Shadal Dragon's just, I think, the best Shadal, uh, being able to either flip it and target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand, or send it to the grave for an effect, something off of like a Dangerous or your Shadal Fusions, to target one trap or spell on the field and destroy it. It's just one of the best generic like Shadal cards that deserves to be a foil. It's the only one I believe that actually hasn't had a foil uh, reprint. I know Beast, Squamata, ooh, maybe Squamata hasn't either. Uh, Beast though for sure, um, Hedgehog, and uh, Falco have been printed as Ultras. If Squamata was reprinted as an Ultra, and I, I don't remember off the top of my head, if it wasn't printed, it should definitely be a Hollow as well, but Shadal Dragon for sure was a card that I think deserves to be a holographic, especially with the new Shadal structure deck coming out whenever it is in 2000, or 2020. But yeah, that is actually going to be it for my uh, top 10 list. Tell me what you guys thought about them. Tell me any cards that you think I missed. Remember, this is only cards that have only been printed as commons or rares, no uh, super rares, ultra rares, go n nothing else, just rarity upgrades from rares to commons. Tell me any cards that you guys think that I missed. Uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, share the channel with your friends, tell me what you want to see next. Uh, if you're enjoying these top 10s at all, tell me another top 10 video that you guys would love to see. Um, I've done top 10 link monsters, top 10 ultimates, and then now top 10 super rares. Um, tell me what you guys would like to see. So thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace. Nice. Nice. When I wreck a mic, leaving all y'all mesmerized Killing instrumentals, but nobody wanna testify In his prime, I think someone better check the guy Always spitting heat, the beat gon' be hard to identify Stress minds and wreck mics and leave with the best lines My sex life is great cause I spit like a tech nine Stomp competition, beat them with the lead pipe Sleep on you rappers just like it's my bedtime You already know that old big pearl from the west side Got you hoes smoking on my flow like a meth pipe Forever cold, I'll eat your soul like a death sight Headed to the top, shining brighter than a headlight You better wreck Nice. I'm about to go off, putting on a show when I ain't even trying to show off Here's the red dot, the shot, and kill Rudolph Call me James Bond, cause I killed it with a suit on <laughs>